Well, we are less than a week away from the total solar eclipse. It will be spectacular to see, of course, but if you're not careful, you could do permanent damage to your eyes. CBS 2's Jennifer Kastner shows us what we need to know to view the eclipse safely. Don't use sunglasses to look at the eclipse. You will damage your vision. UCLA professor Jean-Luc Margot is a planetary scientist. These are really interesting meteorites. Where they have and is preparing for the much-hyped Great American Eclipse, now fast approaching on August 21st. The only way to look safely at the sun during a partial solar eclipse is to have proper solar filters. Filters that come in low-cost eclipse glasses like these are fancier models which can be purchased online. Without solar filters, he says, as you could burn your retinas, causing blindness. Solar telescopes, also available online, are another option. Uh, they're about $100. Um, they're safe to look at the eclipse sun. Uh, you cannot use the telescope to look at other celestial objects because of the solar filter. If that's not in your budget, you can make a pinhole camera, poking a hole in any paper. Face your back towards the sun, and you would just have the light of the sun going through the hole and making a projected image, and you'll see the eclipse that way. He says pets should be fine. They don't tend to look at the sun. In all, the eclipse will last about two hours. Southern Californians will see a partial eclipse. The path of totality, where the moon completely blocks the sun, will stretch from Oregon to South Carolina, with 12 states in between. Professor Margot says there have been reports of scammers selling bad solar eclipse glasses, which could be very dangerous. The American Astronomical Society has a list of reputable vendors for the glasses. We have a link to that on our website, cbsla.com. In Los Angeles, Jennifer Kastner, CBS 2 News.